Hey everyone, so um, had something come up a couple of times over the last uh, couple of weeks or so, and it's regarding main drain tests for sprinkler systems. Um, NFPA 25, 2011 edition is our guiding uh, principle for this. And we follow the 2011 edition because NFPA 101, 2012 edition, uh, has been adopted by the Center for Medicare and Medicaid Services, CMS. Um, and I've heard, I've heard uh, a couple of times and experienced this myself where the main drain test for the sprinkler system was cited because there was a 10% or greater reduction in full flow pressure. So what I've heard though, um, doesn't completely align with code. So I figured let's go ahead, let's do a video, let's level set, let's talk about what the requirements are. So code says in FPA 25, 2011 edition, 13252 says that you have to do an annual main drain flow test uh, we've talked about the quarterly side with backflow preventers. We're not going to talk about that today. But when you do your flow test, it says if there is a 10% reduction in the full flow pressure, then you have to uh, identify the cause of the reduction and correct it if necessary. But there's two conditions. It says where there's a 10% reduction in full flow pre pressure compared to the original acceptance test or previous tests, then you have to identify the issue uh, and correct it. So here's the thing though, right? So uh, static pressures, residual pressures change, city pressures change, they fluctuate. I've actually tracked this over numerous years, uh, looked at graphs and things like that and seen fluctuations in city pressure. Sometimes that identification is as simple as saying, it's not that it was, if you had, a, if you, if you took, took your uh, static and residual pressures, your full flow pressure, uh, and, and you look at it one season and it's really high and you look at it the next season, it's really low, but it correlates to the static pressure that's coming into the system, then there's nothing to investigate your static pressures have changed, right? So uh, you're uh, based on the city pressure that's coming in. If you have a static pressure that's below what the actual uh, pressure required for the system is, then then that's another story. Then you have a problem. You got to talk to the city. Do you have, like, did they make changes, things like that? Because then your sprinkler system may not operate the way it's supposed to, right? So that's something else to be looking at and considering. And, and you know, I hear from uh, hospitals, um, well, what if I don't have my original acceptance test? Okay, then then rebaseline everything, right? So that doesn't that doesn't the code doesn't talk about that or anything. Uh, so, but rebaseline it and also trend the data. Look at the data. Have a defendable uh, stance and argument um, for why why there is a either a pressure reduction or um, your justification for passing the system. So uh, you know, I'll, and I'll put all the code code references and stuff below, but. It's just something that, that comes up and um, it's kind of confusing in the code. So figured let's talk about it. Uh, I'd love to hear from others. There's other experts out there. Definitely. Uh, please uh, tell me, tell me what you're doing. Tell me how you address this from a reporting perspective. Uh, and until next time, happy learning.